In this video we're going to configure and install an Interact Dex drive. This is the PlayStation 1 version on a modern Windows 10 system 64-bit. Similar process will apply for Windows 7 and 8, but the point is this is really old hardware and it's designed to work with 98 XP and things like that. So we're going to modernize it, we're going to insert a serial to USB adapter, get that installed and get it up and running. All the tools used in this video I've linked in the description below, so download those and check those out. So one thing you might notice about the DEX drive is that it's an ancient piece of hardware. It comes with floppy disks with uh, ancient software on it. It actually works with Windows 95, 98. Don't worry about that. I'll show you um, really good software you can use instead of this, and I've linked it in the description below. You no longer need these. They're pretty much useless. And again, with ancient hardware comes ancient connections. This is a serial interface. So uh, to modernize it, um, you can use a serial to USB converter. Uh, and these are pretty cheap. Again, I'll link them in the description below. This is one that actually works with Windows 10 64-bit at time of filming. So it's nice and cheap, one of the cheapest ones you can get. And it will work with this with no problems. So unless you have a serial port native to your computer on a PCI or on the motherboard itself, then you might have a serial to USB adapter. And we're just going to talk about installing that on the system and configuring it. And it's not as simple as you might sound, so I'll just go through it now. So open device manager. You can either go start run and type in the shortcut here or right click my PC properties device manager. It doesn't really matter. They go to the same place. Under ports here, it will actually appear as a com device right here. Now when it installs, it might allocate itself say com5 or com6, which will be your next free com slot. You can see mine's com2. If you right click it here, properties, go to port settings, then advanced, then you can actually change the COM number uh, it belongs to. However, with the software that's provided with the DEX drive and aftermarket software, uh, they'll typically only recognize the first four COM ports here, so it needs to sit in one of these first four COM ports, and this is where we change it. And when you change it, you will need to restart your system. Uh, in order for the changes to take effect, otherwise the software will just not recognize it at all. Similarly, when you um, plug it in for the first time, restart your computer and you'll know the software uh, will now start detecting it. So that's a bit of a gotcha there. If a COM port is in use like this one, you can just set it to that, press OK, but you will need to restart again. And it, and it really depends what's using it. On my system, I have no COM devices at all, but it says there's three in use. Who knows why? I have no idea. But um, I just set it to come to restarted. It detected it with no problems at all. So that's how you sort of configure your USB to serial adapter. Again, if your computer needs drivers for that, the most common ones use a CH34 chip um, or a PL2303 driver. Uh, they're the two most common ones. Again, Windows 10 uh, includes both of these natively if you have a full installation. But if you have a slim down installation or maybe something else, then these are the drivers for those. But you should not have to use them on a Windows 10 system. So that's how to install the interface. So in order to test the installation of the DEX drive, uh, we'll just open it up in some software and see if it can detect the DEX drive on our system. So in this folder here, DEX drive, uh, DEX drive drivers and software, just go in here and just use DEX drive uh, Dexter which is a really good aftermarket app, very minimal, portable, and you can use Dexter for almost anything you need to do. So if we just click Dex Drive here, then open Dex Drive. This is the serial port where our um, serial to USB adapter is installed to, in my case anyway, and it just lives on COM2, so click OK, and now it's going to open the Dex Drive. The Dex drive itself has an LED on the top which goes uh, orange and that will only come on when it's reading or writing to the card. It won't come on at any other time. So you can see here in Dexter we can actually see the blocks on our memory card here. You can see I have some edits. Edits take up one block and also I have some link data. So one more um, bit of software I've included in the file that I want to briefly talk about is PSX Game Edit. You'll see it in a lot of guides. 
The reason I don't really prefer this is because it doesn't really offer you anything uh, that Dexter does, and it's also quite slow. If you go to memory card, even the quick option, it loads the data really slowly, and also when you write it back. Another thing is when you have the link data, which is two blocks on the memory card, it will sort of display a bit weirdly, and it's, it's not very clear. And there's some garbled text and things like that. I, I pr personally don't prefer it, but I've included it anyway. But it works much the same as Dexter, so it's really a personal preference whether you want to use PSX Game Edit or Dexter. It's really up to you. One thing I would avoid is the official Dex Drive software. It's an absolute pile of crap. Uh, I've included it here just for fun, but it mostly deals with full memory card images and it's really hard to save out individual files and things. But I've included that so you can take a look.